Hello friends and welcome back to Melita's Delicacies. Today I have for you a very interesting and very famous Goan dish that is the Kingfish Mole. Now mole is a very versatile fish pickle that can be made with any fish with lesser bones. Maybe the mackerels, the prawn frits. And friends, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed to my channel yes yet, Please do it now and don't forget to press the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you like my recipes, please press the thumbs up and do share it with your family and friends so that they too enjoy watching my recipes. So let's get started with our delectable kingfish mole. Went to the market and I found that the kingfish were quite at reasonable rate. So picked up some which were nice and fresh. Very important to get your kingfish well cut. So I got mine cut from those fish cutters who sit outside the market. But if you have a very good hand over the knife, then you can do it at home itself. Now here I have got my kingfish. I'm going to sort it out and use only the middle part of the fish as I prefer to use that for my mole. I have here my fish ready. I have used just used the mid section part of the kingfish for my mole. Wash it once and then let's season it with some sea salt. And let it sit for about half an hour. Now uh, it's been about half an hour since my fish was marinated. And I just gave it a quick wash so that I extra salt or if it's become a little bit salty. Then I it gets washed away. And add a generous amount of oil to your pan. And let it be nice and hot and then fry your kingfish well. It takes about 3 to 4 minutes on medium to high flame on each side. My fish is being fried the first batch. Do the same with the remaining fish. Now let's prepare our masala for the mole. Here I have about 15 Kashmiri chilies and about 8 Bedgis chilies. Now Kashmiri chilies both have their different level of spice. You adjust them according to your preference. Here I have 1 cup of toddy vinegar, 1 bulb of garlic which I have peeled, about 2 tablespoons of chopped ginger. 1 tablespoon of peppercorns, 2 inch piece of cinnamon, few cloves, 1 teaspoon of turmeric, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now I will just grind it coarsely first, dry and then I will add the vinegar and grind it to a nice fine paste. Friends in fish pickle or the fish mole, no use of water is made. Now let's, in the same pan which I have fried my fish, I'm adding uh, some more oil and I'm adding here about 2 tablespoons of finely chopped garlic and 1 tablespoon of chopped ginger and saute it till the rawness of the garlic and ginger goes. Some people do not add ginger and garlic. But I prefer it, you can decide not to use it if you do not want to. In fact, I like to eat this in my mole when I am eating the masala of it. Add your ground masala to it and fry it for about 3 to 4 minutes or till it gets cooked. Keep stirring it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom.
you may add a little more vinegar into your mixer jar and add that masala into the pan so that no masala gets wasted add salt to taste once the masala is cooked it will start to release the oil that is the time you know that your masala is nicely cooked here i have added the masala from the mixer jar and adjusted the consistency add the fried fish to it make sure that your fish gets covered in the masala and give a nice slow stir to it and then cook it for about just 1 or 2 minutes so that you know the fish absorbs the masala flavors to eat turn off the flame once it is cooked and let it cool down completely then put it into an airtight jar and close the lid tightly the mold tastes better after about 8 to 10 days let it rest in the jar for that long so that you know you get the real flavors of the fish mold but if you want to use it instantly also you may do so but the longer it remains the more matured it gets into the masala and more yummyish it taste few important tips to remember in this is that use a dry sterilized jar to bottle it close it completely and if you are going to keep it for a longer time or you want to transport it somewhere then add boiled and cooled oil on the top of it so that it gets a nice film kind of on the top and it naturally gets preserved but mostly kingfish mold doesn't get spoil if you follow all the important steps of cleanliness and if you have ground the masala only with vinegar vinegar and oil will act as preservatives into this mold keep it in a dry cool dark place and let it rest for about 8 to 10 days and then on a rainy day or as and when you feel like enjoy this yummyish kingfish mole friends do try this recipe at your home and do share it with your family and friends and let them to enjoy this yummyish kingfish mole of yours here my mole is ready it started to release its oils at this time it's perfectly cooked turn off the flame let it cool completely bottle it let it rest for is 8 to 10 days and then enjoy friends and if you like my recipe please do like it share it with your family and friends try this kingfish mole and don't forget to give your feedback in my comment section i would love to hear from you see you next week with yet another interesting recipe which i like to bring from my kitchen to yours until then try kingfish mole see you next week with you for watching god bless you